have tolerated or could have stood against the, these mighty allegations. These mighty allegations could have demolished any other religion, be it Christianity, be it Buddhism, be it capitalism, communism. You see what happened to communism? How many books the capitalists required to demolish communism? You can count on fingertips the best sellers. Yet communism puffed out. It could not run more than 75 to 80 years. Pack off. Gone. In the history books. China is about to give off communism. As per the reports what we come to know. Communism could not tolerate the onslaught. Islam has been tolerating right from the day the Quran began to reveal. And still goes on, goes on, goes on. What are the reasons? We will just take a few of the reasons what makes this religion busy in welcoming more and more reverts in it. Islam is very busy nowadays, welcoming more reverts every year. You go to YouTube and you will see hundreds of thousands of interviews of uh, Germans, of Italians, Americans, Britishers, Japanese, Chinese, and they are giving reasons why they are embracing Islam. A phenomena, a phenomena. The white men embracing Islam, the Africans, the Buddhists, the Hindus, and they are telling their tales. Why are they embracing Islam in spite of being the most targeted religion in the world? So what are the main reasons? What are the main reasons? Number one main reason, there are four main reasons which I could find out from the Quran. There are hundreds of sub-reasons. But main reason is the concept of God in Islam. One of the major reasons. There was one of uh, a revered lady who had written an article that why she embraced Islam and the headlines was the gist of the article. She said, Allah knocked on my heart. Allah knocked on my heart. Imagine what a language and what an expression why she embraced Islam. The concept of God in Islam, Tawheed, is the most charming factor that attracts people to Islam. A majority of the people who embrace Islam they say we like the concept of God in Islam. There is no mediator between Allah and his worshippers. Direct, no priest, no malvis, nobody can come in between. You say, Ya Allah, Waqala Rabbakum us, Waqala Rabbakum Uduni Asta Jiblakum. Your Lord says, Call upon me and I will respond to you. No in between, nobody required. Islam demolished, it dismissed all the middlemen, no agents, nobody. Direct you approach Allah. This is the concept of God in Islam. Basic concept of God. He has no partners. Nobody can come next to him. He is alone. Neither he is born nor will he die. Neither he gets tired in running the universe. Everything that runs in the universe according to his command. He listens to everything. He listens to everyone. He can respond and he responds to everybody. Whoever calls him. This is the concept of God, which no other religious scripture in the world can give. Because Islam is a religion from God Almighty. This is one of the main reasons why Islam appears very charming to the people who are out looking for a creator's identity. Islam appeals their heart, their intellect, their philosophy, because every human being is born with the natural fitratul deen with natural deen in him. So it appeals like magnet when they come across those verses about God Almighty. They find it wonderful. One main reason. The rest of the three reasons are from the Quranic verses which I give. In the beginning I recited two Quranic verses in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He announces that the religion of Allah is going to prevail over all other religions. This is a guarantee of Allah Almighty. And this is a reminder in no less than three places in the Quran. First in Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse 33. It is Allah who has sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth. 
so that it may prevail, it may manifest, it may supersede, it may dominate, it may dominate over all other religions. Wakafa billahi shahida, and enough is Allah as a witness to it. So number second reason is Allah has taken up the guarantee that His religion is going to prevail over all religions. All religions, it is going to supersede. It is written in the destiny of the world that Islam is going to supersede all other religions. Whether it is capitalism, communism, ism, or religions, Islam is destined to supersede, to win the hearts and the minds of the whole world. That is Islam. And guarantee has been taken by Allah Almighty. This is another reason. The same thing Allah repeats in Surah Fatiha, chapter number 48, verse number 24. Same thing with a little difference. In this ayat, Allah says, Walau kari hal mushrikeen. Even if the pagans, those who set partners with Allah, even if they dislike it, even if they hate it, even if they don't like it, Allah will see to it that his religion prevails. And you may be wondering as to how come this happens? We Muslim are minority of 140 billions. 1400, 140 billions. We say we proudly boast that we are 140 billions. But we don't realize that we are feeling as we are a minority. How many of us actually go and promote Islam? How many actually go and talk to people and invite people about Islam? No, but Islam is still gross. Some of us may be going and talking to few people sometimes, hobby, sometimes desperately somebody is cornering you with some allegations and you come with an answer from YouTube or website, Google, and then you go and talk to them. Otherwise, as a passion, how many of us initiate dawah? Very few, very few. Yet Islam grows. Why? The reason is, it is the miracle of Quran. It is a miracle of Quran. Miracle. Without supporters, the Quran will flourish. No problem with you all. Be busy. Be busy. No problem. Allah is there to look after his religion. As he has promised. Allah is not in the need of the Muslims. He has just given them a chance. Islam continues to grow. And imagine my brothers and sisters, if you have noted or studied or analyzed, Islam grows where it is tried to subjugate it. This is another miracle of Quran. For example, you saw among those pillars of Islam or among those teachings of Islam which are attacked is the concept of hijab, the modest wearing of Muslima, the sisters. They say, what is this subjugation? Subjugation of women. What is this? And they write articles and the presidents like Sarkozy's, they pass resolutions, bills, no hijab and all. So they have started maligning Islam as anti-women religion, misogynist, they say. A religion, Nauzubillah, which hates women. Islam is a misogynist religion, the opponents claim. Islam is not a misogynist religion. That's what they claim. So the miracle of the Quran is there, according to the statistics confirmed. Two-thirds of the reverts, the new entrants into Islam are women. Yes, now. What reply you have to this? Two-third of the new entrants into Islam are women. Imagine a front, they are trying to ignite and trying to run away. That now let's see now, you know women will leave Islam and become Christians and atheists and this and that. And they see their own women coming into Islam. That is a miracle of Quran. You fight on any front, you raise up any allegation against Islam, Islam will prevail or enter into your religions, into your countries, into your people's hearts and minds through that way. Islam will come in that. Huger than tsunamis. It sweeps off all wrong faiths. Next example I would give about the miracles of the Quran and how Islam is being attacked on the noble character of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You see the books are written. And even some people like Satanic Rushdi and all these people, they also try to write books. You know, they get along with them. Like hypocrites we had. So, they try to malign the noble character of Prophet ﷺ. If you have ever come across some anti-Islamic website, you will see among the most, among the person who has been attacked most on his character is Prophet Muhammad 
Yet what happens? 